All right. Good morning, seniors. Uh, we have FAFSA Day coming up on February 2nd, and that's where Get to College is going to come in and help students fill out their FAFSA form and also apply for any state uh, scholarships and grants. Um, this is important for anybody who is going to college or anyone who wants to learn a skill. Maybe you want to be a truck driver. Maybe you want to learn how to weld. If you want to do any of those types of things, uh, you should fill out the FAFSA form. So I want to explain how this works a little bit. So the reason that first you got a FAFSA is that um, that is what determines your expected family contribution for your, sec for your schooling after high school. So they use that to determine what your financial aid package is. And so whatever college or uh, trade school that you apply to, they can use the FAFSA form to determine how much scholarships and grants that you qualify for. Now let me just uh, explain for anybody who doesn't know, scholarships and grants are free money that you do not have to pay back. And a lot of our students qualify for those. So um, it, they're not all grade based. So be sure to check out what your options are. It may not cost you much money at all to go to college. So we can talk about that more too. Um, you need to make an appointment for FAFSA day on February 2nd. Um, and you can bring in a parent or you can have your parent call in for the appointment. You will need to have your social security number and you will need your parents income information. Uh, if you live with a grandparent, you can come and talk to me and I can help you figure out whose income you need because it won't be your grandparents. I can tell you that right off, right off the top of my head, but I can figure out, help you figure out who that person would be. Um, also, if uh, your parent does not have a social security number and you want to fill out the FAFSA form, that is possible. We can talk about that. Um, if you do not have a social security number yourself, um, there's some other options for you, so come talk to me about that. Um, there are colleges that accept students that do not have social security numbers. Um, most of them, however, are not in the state of Mississippi, so you have to be willing to go outside Mississippi to go to college if you do not have a social security number. Um, I just have some general tips for you um, if you're applying to college. Go ahead and apply for uh, room and board. Um, what that means is it's housing and food. Um, financial assistance will help with that. Um, financial aid does not help you with a car or car expenses. So um, that's something to consider. You can always cancel it if you don't want it, but if you don't apply for it right away, then sometimes you have trouble getting into where you want to be. Also, it's much cheaper if you're willing to have a roommate. So that's a couple tips there. Um, if you qualify for free or reduced lunch, um, be sure and apply for that. The reason is um, that's the information needed to waive any application fees. If you qualify for free and reduced lunch, then you qualify for um, waiving application fees. Um, for anybody out there who got an ACT of 20 or more, be sure and get on your FAFSA right away. There is um, a help grant that you might qualify for. And if you do, the deadline for that is March 31st. So you wanna get on your applications and your FAFSA um, as soon as you can. If anyone out there has in, been in foster care since the age of 13, or if you've been awarded the state, please let me know that and I can help you. There's a faith grant out there for you um, that can help with whatever schooling you want after high school. Um, and my last tip is this, all right? Uh, teachers out there, they want you to succeed. So just know that the teachers are really on your side and those teachers that are hardest on you are the ones that really care and want you to succeed in life. So just, just a shout out there to uh, appreciate those teachers that are working hard for you. So um, Ms. Dr. McIntyre will be sending out a remind um, for the link to set up an appointment with Get to College for FAFSA Day right here at Horn Lake High School on February 2nd. And um, again, your parent can attend via phone if they can't be here in person. And if you have any questions on the FAFSA, why you should do it, or any, 
any post-secondary questions at all, you can talk to me. Um, I'm Ms. Hennessy. I'm the career coach. My office is right across from the nurse. And um, first, you got a FAFSA. Thank you.